When tweeting out an article titled 10 Facts About American Workers, Pew Research seemingly attempts to clickbait people and attempt to conflate the earnings among racial groups in the United States. Welcome back to Andrew Says, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. Don't forget to contribute to me on Patreon if you haven't already present at the bottom of your screen here. Would love your support so I can keep doing this. The tweet reads as follows. White men had higher median hourly earnings, $21, than every other racial or ethnic and gender subgroup except one, Asian men, according to analysis from 2016. Now you may be thinking a research institute like Pew, who is pretty credited, it was was high up there on my list of a pretty good source of information. Heck, it still is. This is just bothersome. You would think that they wouldn't actually do this on the study. This is just a clickbait title to get people to click on it. Social media managers are different from companies. Their job is to get people to click and get traffic. But no, this is the real title. And if we go to the actual article, we will see, sadly, almost exactly the same thing. In the above text, it's almost the same as the tweet here. The gender gap is just one of several gaps in earnings that characterize the American workforce. A separate center analysis from 2016, for example, found that white men had higher medium hourly earnings, $21, than every other racial and ethnic and gender subgroup except one, Asian men, who, whose median hourly earnings were $24. Even the graph's title reads, white men out earn black and Hispanic men and all women groups. And then you can see on the graph, everything, the graph, everything is focused on white men for some reason I can't understand. Asian men earn 100%, 117% as much as white men. That doesn't even make sense when you write it. How can you earn as much as somebody when you're earning more than them? It doesn't make grammatical sense. It seems like they just want to write it that way in relation to white men. Then even on the women's side, Asian women earn 87% as much as white men. So even on the women's graph, it's still related to white men for some reason. The idea here is, I guess, to compare the top women's wages to the highest earning men, showcasing a gap between everybody and white men. But they don't even do that. They, for some reason, compare it to white men who are the second highest wage earners instead of Asian men. Because of this weird, silly, kind of sad bias, I'm not sure how you want to call it, that I'm forced to extrapolate a lot of things from this that I wish that I didn't have to from a research center. They're also lumping in Indian men with East Asian in the Asian category. And it, it just contributes to this idea that they're really going out of their way to obf obfuscate the truth here and just point it at white men for some reason. We're like four, devil four levels deep here of avoiding the actual truth, which is that white men don't make the most money in America. Indians and East Asians are obviously different, and I can't help but imagine that based on everything else in here, that we're grouping things together so that we're doing as much as we can to make white men appear as the highest income earners and therefore make it be some sort of injustice is the underlying thing here. And based, what I've, based on what I've read previously and this graph I'm going to pull up here, Indians make far more than anyone else, followed by then East Asians, then white people, then Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islanders, which of course never, never gets mentioned. And I think it's fair to say that what I've showed you on the Pew page, they just want to really present things as if white men are far and beyond the highest earners in some unfair manner. And they're willing to even lump other races together, as you can see here, to try and prove that. They're including Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders into Asians somehow. So not only are they taking Indians and East Asians and putting them into Asians, they're taking people from like American Samoa and Hawaii and lumping them in with Asians because uh, Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders would be right below white men. So it doesn't look as bad when you've got two levels of people above white men and then you've got Pacific Islanders and Hawaiians below white men and then black and Hispanic people because they're always saying black and brown people are the most oppressed and it doesn't look good for them to never mention Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders as oppressed people. It's pretty much like you're literally saying that Dwayne The Rock Johnson and other Samoans there's a lot of uh, wrestlers, that professional wrestlers that are Samoan. You're saying they're Asian. How does that make sense? So they're going out of their way to include other people into one category. So we can say, oh, white men earn more than everybody, except for just Asians. But then again, we're not counting in Indians, and we're not counting in 
that uh, Samoans and Hawaiians and such islands are right below, not right below them, but they're the next people down below. Now, as you guys know, I do actually hate talking about race. The concept often does not make sense to me when people are using it in talks about oppression and talks about statistics like this, because like I've said many times before, black guy from Atlanta is not black guy from Belgium. White guy from Louisiana is not white guy from Australia, let's say. I even made a troll video where I sat in the middle of the screen and it was about Jussie Smollett and black celebrities. Made a lot of people mad. Get out of the way, Andrew. Why do people watch this guy? Uh, this guy's an idiot. Get out of the screen. Obviously, having done YouTube for several years now, I know not to sit in front of the screen. Kind of disappointed people didn't get the bit. Uh, got a lot of anger on that. It was it was a bit, you guys. Sorry to tell you. But one of the main lanes, I guess you could call it, that I've been in here is calling out, calling out media bias and lies because I think it's very damaging. The whole Russia collusion thing, all the elections, all the one-sided journalism that's turned into activism. That's why I call things out like this. And unfortunately, it crosses over with things like race in situations like this. But I wish we wouldn't have to talk about that at all, unless it's talking about helping people, not about being oppressed in the wonderful Western world. That is it for me. That's it for Andrew Says. Thanks for watching, and I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. But Pew would. Pew would go out of their way now, we see, just to, just to push any narrative they can.